Hello guys, it's Nihana, back for more Borderlands 3. Just a quick update, I now have a microphone as you can hear, and this is my first ever video with a voiceover. Obviously I'm still figuring it out, how to do it, how to make it sound better. But still, I hope you enjoy this video and expect to hear more from me on my future videos. And also if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it if you do guys as I really like creating these kinds of videos and sharing it to you. Well that's about it for this update. Expect more from Nihana Gaming on this channel. Now let's roll intro and get on with the video. For this episode of Orange Loot Farming, we'll be taking down Rackman. But since this is my first episode of having a voiceover on my video, I feel like I need to explain how these videos go. Well, like my other videos, I will first show you the highlights of my loot grind and the loots that I got, and then afterwards, I will showcase the legendaries that I got from that grind. To let you guys see how the legendary drop rates from that spawn, which in this case is Rackman. And for this grind, I'm using the Flak Beastmaster High DPS build by Jolt's Dude. Check out his channel on YouTube, he makes awesome Borderlands 3 content as well. Rockman is a unique spawn in the region of Carnivora on the planet of Pandora. You can see him on the section of the map which I'm pointing out right now. He has a higher chance of dropping the Night Flyer, a legendary pistol. So for my grind, I hope to get the Night Flyer from Rackman to see how it looks. And as you may know, Carnivora is a very huge map. I need to use my Cyclone just to explore the place. And also, Rackman, as an obvious reference to Batman, can be located by following his signal light, if that is what is called, over at this location. Since it's my first run, my main objective was to familiarize myself with his movements, his attack patterns, and damage outputs. As you can see, his main attack is jumping at me. And his main defense is vanishing. And for long range, he has these needles which he throws at me. Like that. And then afterwards, if I damage him hard enough, he vanishes on the top of the ledge. Then he will continue to jump at me. So for this run, I didn't get any legendaries, only the service bot console, uh, room decoration, and another green. Well now that we figured out his attack patterns, I will only show the loots that I will get from the next runs that I will take, and then after my 20th run, I will showcase the guns that I got. Like in my first run, my second run requires me to go to my cyclone and get to the location. Oh. 
Then I followed the same steps that I took to defeat him in my first run. And these are the loots that I got. My third run went fairly easy, and the loots that I got are only blue and greens, no legendaries. Well, unlike my previous run, the fourth one was very rough. I fought for life twice. Although, thankfully, the fourth run secured me the legendary pistol, the one we're looking for, the Night Flyer. I got the surgical variant this time, and I can't wait to showcase the gun at the end of this run. On my 5th run, I got another Legendary. But this time it's a Relic. It's the Legendary Berserker Safeguard. For my 6th run, I got another batch of blues and greens. No Legendaries this time, but another room decoration. Also on my 7th run, another batch of blues and greens. My 8th run was very rough, I fainted multiple times again. And on top of that, I only got a purple and a batch of blues. Ninth run, another batch of purples and blues. Although luckily on my 10th run, as I'm fighting for my life again, I got another legendary safeguard. For my 11th and 12th run, I got another batch of purples and greens. However, on my 13th run though, I got very very lucky. I got two legendaries and both of them are Knight Hawkins, legendary SMG by Dull. Not only that, I got two anointed Knight Hawkins SMG. Then as you will see on my 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th run, I got all good perfect conditions, purples, greens, and blues. Dang it. And on top of that, he died on the ledge on my 18th run. I can see that he dropped another batch of blues and purples, but I can't even check, man. Dang it. And my last two runs, 19th and 20, are just confirmation that indeed, 13th was my lucky number. So just to recap, I got lucky with only 5 legendaries, a night flyer, 2 safeguards, and 2 hawkins. Well guys, now that my runs are over, it's time for our gun showcase. I'll first show you how the guns look like, and then I will test it on my enemies to see how it feels and how it works. And first up, we have the surgical night flyer, the first legendary that we got from Rackman. 
this is how it looks it has a huge magazine it has markings on the side it's a very slick gun and let's try how it looks like when firing like dull weapons are it has a burst fire mode once we switch it it changes the scope it can zoom in and zoom out but it still remains on burst fire mode and it's relatively weak as you can see when i'm fighting rachman using this gun i can't barely do any damage and also it's red flavor text reads as i have one rule as a reference again to batman his one rule is that he will not kill but also it's a subtle hint on the uniqueness of this gun because you can't kill an enemy using this gun next up we have a legendary artifact the safeguard it's red flavored text reads as my own little bubble because i've said by the attribute of this artifact using slam triggers a shield that will reduce incoming damage just like a little bubble and finally we have the knight hawking and as a dull weapon it has high fire rate and a low magazine size but the faster reloads it's red flavored text reads as stranger than things probably an allusion to stranger things because although this gun deals cryo damage it also will apply fire elemental damage to your targets which simultaneously burns them and freezes them strange indeed and guys that's about it for this orange loot farming with rockman out of 20 times i only got five legendaries what do you think about it a high chance a low chance and they're all dull weapons hit me up on the comments below of what you think about farming rockman and suggest to me who do you want to see next also guys if you like this video subscribe to the channel thank you very much for your subscription and support i would really appreciate it i'm just a small youtuber I really enjoy the work, I really enjoy posting on the internet, and it would really mean a lot to me if you show your support. So click the like button so that more people will find this video, and share it if you like. Also I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday Philippine Standard Time as I'm from the Philippines. And that's about it. Again this is Nehana Gaming, it has been another Orange Loot Farming episode, and until next time gamers.